So this is the next video of um, lightsaber duels and it is Lord Hoff of the Old Republic against Darth Nihilus of the Sith. Um, both characters are 44 points each. Lord Hoff starts off with 130 hit points whereas Nihilus only has 100. Um, both characters have a defense of 19. Um, Hoff has an attack of 10 whereas Nihilus has 12 and both characters do 20 damage. Both characters also have double attack. Um, Nihilus starts with 5 force points. Um, he has Sif Hatred, Sif Hunger and Drain Life 10. The one you're really going to be wanting to use is Sif Hunger, so it replaces attacks and basically takes 20 damage, um, 20 damage to your enemy, um, but also takes 20 damage off of yourself. and also removes, transfers one force point over to Darth Nihilus. Which is, it, uh, it's an insane move, but it, you'll, you'll see it happen and it will be, it'll be quite game changing. Lord Hoff starts off with two force points, but he also has force renewal. So every phase that he activates, um, he gains one force point but effectively in this duel he could just be keep giving that free force point to Nihilus at least twice in this duel. He's also got lightsaber block which is going to be very very handy and master speed. So let's move these guys um, six away from each other. Nihilus will be represented with the red dice and Lord Hoff will be represented with the yellowish black dice. With characters that have force renewal, what I like to do is I put the um, the force powers to the left of the card. So I know right now that Lord Hoff has got two force remaining to spend and then when you get force renewal each turn you can keep adding to that too. It will, it will become a lot more clearer when uh, when you watch when, when the duel unfolds. So initiative check at the beginning. So Lord Hoff takes it with 13. Um, yep, Lord Hoff is going to activate so he gets his point and he's going to go straight into Nihilus and do a single attack. He needs nines. Rolls a three. He's not going to use a point for that to re-roll. Nihilus can... he is going to use a double attack, so he only needs sevens for that. Gets an eight. We're going to block that with Lord Hoff. So use that force point, that free force point we get. But he's not successful with a two. And then the so that's twenty damage there on Lord Hoff. And then the other attack from the double which is another 20 damage which cannot be blocked because Lord Hoff has already used his force point that turn. So 40 damage done to Lord Hoff and that's the end of that phase. So initiative. This time Nihilus wins it on 14. Nihilus will do his double attack needing sevens, gets a nine. Lord Hoff is going to use his force point to block, which he doesn't. So that's another 
20 damage. So I take those off. It goes to 60. And then Nihilus has one more attack, which is another 20 damage. And Lord Hoff has used his force points there. Well, I used his only force point he can to block and he failed. Um, it's now Lord Hoff's turn. He does get his force point because he's now activated. And he will do um, a double attack, needing nines. Critical. Critical hit. Gets a 20. That's 40 damage done there. Beautiful stuff. And then his second attack gets a four. Um, no, we're going to save the force points. Critical hit was done. I'm happy with that. Right, initiative check. Duff Nihilus takes it on the 14. He is going to spend one point of force to do Sif Hunger. So the Sif Hunger basically means it takes 20 damage off, puts 20 damage on to Lord Hoff, and takes a force point and puts it on to Nihilus. So Nihilus has gone back up to five force points. So Lord Hoff, there's a hundred damage done, but Nihilus um, has regained some force. Um, it replaces his attacks, so he can't do a double attack as well, um, but that's pretty. It's a pretty decent outcome there. Lord Hoff activates, it's his turn now, so he gets gets that force point. Lord Hoff will do his double attack, needing nines. Another 20 gets a critical. So that turns that to 60. And another 20. Wow. Okay. So that puts that to 100. And actually defeats Darth Nihilus. Two 20s in a row takes it out. It really looked like Lord Hoff was actually on the way out there but two criticals and Nihilus has got no way of blocking those attacks. He can drain the life off of his opponent which he did do but yeah he could not block those two critical hits in the end. What a fantastic end and Lord Hoff lives to fight another day with that 30 hit points left.